everyone, this is Teacher Mel, and for today's lesson, we're going to focus on how to solve a quadratic equation by extracting square roots. Let's have our first example, x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. The first step is for us to isolate x squared. For us to isolate x squared, we need to move negative 25 to the right side of the equation, or we need to transpose this one to right side of the equation. Kapag transpose natin sa negative 25 to the right side of the equation, yung sign niya nagbabago. So it becomes positive 25. After that, we need to get the square root of both sides. So square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 25 is plus or minus 5. After that, separate natin siya. So yung value ng x is equal to 5, and x is equal to negative 5. Let's have our next example, 5x squared minus 100 is equal to 0. Ano yung unang step? We need to isolate 5x squared. So, i-move natin si 100 to the right side of the equation. And if we transpose that one, it becomes a positive 100. After that, dapat x squared na lang ang matira sa left side of the equation. Ano yung gagawin natin? We need to divide both sides by 5. Or kung ano yung coefficient ng x squared, yun ang i-divide to both sides of the equation. So this becomes x squared is equal to 20. Get the square root of both sides, square root of x squared, and square root of 20. Okay, x squared is equal to, yung 20, pwede nating ma-separate into 4 times 5, or factors of 20 is we have 4 times 5. Bakit ang napili natin is 4 times 5? Pwede namang 10 times 2. Ang napili natin ay 4 times 5 kasi si 4 ay meron siya square root. So this becomes x is equal to plus or minus 2 square root of 5. Separate natin. x is equal to 2 square root of 5. And x is equal to negative 2 square root of 5. Okay, you may try this one. You can post the video, answer key will follow. Okay, so we transpose. Okay. So the final answer is x is equal to 11 and x is equal to negative 11. Did you get it? Thank you everyone. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to comment. I'm happy to answer any questions. Please subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.